Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, these are going to be your full moon and Libra predictions. Now, balance and harmony are the major themes and this full moon carries beautiful, high-powered energy for healing, protection, and harmony. Also, this Libra and Venusian energy is about beauty, art, balance, and success. So Aries, while I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment if you feel called to do so, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you guys can get updates whenever I upload new content. So let's go ahead and see, Aries, what messages come through for this full moon in Libra. Messages for my Aries, please, for this full moon in Libra. Messages for Aries for this full moon in Libra, please. Oh, all right, Nine of Swords. So you guys could be going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul, but Spirit wants you to know that's coming to an end. Illumination and release are key themes for any full moon. And such a beautiful and balanced and healing full moon, such as this Libra full moon. So those of you experiencing difficulties, know that those are coming to an end. This Libra and full moon is also a graduation point for, you know, the things that we've been toiling over or things that we've been working very hard for finally coming to fruition. Okay, so... Aries. You guys are coming out as the Ten of Swords, so there's definitely some sort of karmic completion, some sort of painful ending, but it is an ending, and as you guys know, all endings bring new beginnings. There's that Eight of Swords, so that Nine of Swords isn't quite coming out yet, all right? Um, we have the Two of Cups in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. Okay, Aries. So I'm getting a few different messages. For many of you guys, this absolutely has to do with a romantic situation or a love relationship, although it doesn't necessarily have to be. Your overall energy is the world. Okay, so this is the immediately the message that I'm getting for Aries. So you guys have gone through an ending. It has been some sort of breakup, but the purpose of the breakup and this loss of stability Okay, whether it's in a, a marriage, a love relationship, maybe you lost a job, a big contract. There's something, there's a major spiritual lesson unfolding about your independence and about your personal power. Okay, judgment is telling me that there's up leveling. But for some of you guys, there's a second chance in all of this. But you're meant to sort of go through this dark night of the soul. You're meant to feel this gamut, this range of emotions, because it's about evolution for you. The world card, this is um, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius energy. So you could have those signs in your chart, or you could be dealing with one of those signs. But the world in reverse is telling me that you're coming to the end of a very difficult cycle, but you're not quite there yet. And that's coming through here as well with the Ten of Swords. Now, for some of you, this could be like a codependency or a behavior pattern that's being released. And it's really difficult, you guys. And any of you there, I just, it's, it's a message I just got. It may be about a sobriety journey for somebody here as well. But what I'm seeing with the Ten of Swords is this is a karmic completion. It's coming to an end. Yes, the devil. So this is about, you know, and the reason I get so excited is because many of you guys, you are purging unhealthy habits and unhealthy relationships relationships. For some of you, there's a separation in a very important soulmate connection that was necessary for your up leveling. Now it can also lead to, you know what, there's unfinished business between you guys. And this can be a card of second chances. But some of you guys, you may be leaving behind a person or a situation because you're up leveling. And when we're going through the awakening process, and we're on this on this ascension journey, we can't always take everyone with us, right? We can only do our own work, we can't do the work for others. So for some of you, you are leaving somebody behind. And it is quite difficult. The two of wands is telling me you're at this crossroads, you're, you know, you're about to cross over the threshold through a portal. There's like a new life, a new existence waiting for you. But it's very hard to see that because I see there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of sorrow, there's regret about having to do this, but it's about you answering your soul's calling and being on the path. 
that you were meant to be on Aries. The Three of Swords tells me that there will be healing. So for some of you guys, you're realizing there's this separation, this breakup. This was necessary to release any sort of negative attachments or to heal issues between you guys in the relationship. So for not all of you, is it meaning that you guys are going separate ways and you'll never see each other again? But for some of you, it's a very, you know, it's 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 with a very heavy heart you are saying goodbye to someone or to something. Some of you may be moving out of the family home. Some of you may be leaving a job where you have lots of friends, um, co-workers that you consider part of your soul tribe, and you might be breaking out on your own. I see that, you know, with this nine of pentacles, a very sort of entrepreneurial energy. Um, and for some of you guys, you are leaving behind a relationship that, you know, that had run its course. Okay, and um, yeah, powerful energy there with the world card though, because it's sort of this final push Aries that's always the most difficult. And remember, this full moon is a graduation point for us, where what we've been working really hard towards, um, you know, is going to, you know, is going to um, come to fruition. We're going to start to see that. Um, this full moon, I think it's also really important, and especially because you guys are Aries, um, it aligns with Venus, Chiron, and the sun. And Chiron is the wounded healer and is currently in Aries, and it reminds us to use our wounding, and that's what I'm seeing here, to help us step into our power, while this soft and sort of sensitive energy of Venus is reminding us to do it in our own way and in our own time. There's also an important grand trine between the moon, Mars, and Saturn, Okay, which is considered a very, very positive omen Aries, where things are going to flow a lot more smoothly and a lot more easily. But it does require, you know, going through this sort of difficult end point, graduation point, if you will. So the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords, I'm going to read these two together. This is where you are. So there's an energy of feeling stuck, maybe not knowing which direction to move in. Um, some of you guys, it is that Nine of Swords that popped out. It's this dark night of the soul. Not sure if there's a light at the end of the tunnel. What are you doing and why is this the right decision? Okay, Spirit is saying absolutely it is the right decision here. Remember, you're only stuck when you think you are. And when you feel like you're sort of, you know, bashing your head against the wall or you can't tell up from down or you're sort of in this very dark space, you know, this is a time to pull back, pause, allow your eyes to adjust to the darkness. Okay, so that you can sort of get a higher perspective, um, if that makes any sense. Okay, so it's like sometimes, you know, it's like when the lights go out, boom, it's a frightening moment. We might kind of want to run, scream, run around, what have you, but that will only sort of lead to more difficulty. But if we pause and allow our eyes to adjust and allow our other senses to kick in, and this is, you know, you're intuitive, you're, you know, opening your crown chakra and your third eye to see when you might not be able to see in the 3D, okay, or vice versa, allowing that energy to sort of take over and guide you through this difficult period. All right, the Two of Cups tells me that some of you, you may have experienced a breakup in a partnership or a separation. But remember, everything is going to move very smoothly. There is going to be a beautiful, um, there's going to be a beautiful graduation here, an up-leveling, a success. Um, and we see that Two of Wands and this Three of Swords. There's a healing here taking place, whether that leads to a rekindling of your relationship or whether that leads to you moving forward. It's exactly what's meant to happen. The Two of Cups in reverse is beautiful because it tells me that now is the time to focus on refilling your own cup. Some of you may have been working really hard for a group of people or for, you know, you and your partner, which is admirable and is beautiful and is obviously like always recommended that we take that energy. But if it's something that's been drained, that's been very draining for us. Okay. And I do feel like there's, especially with the devil energy, Capricornian energy, um, but with this devil energy, there's something here that was toxic, that was becoming unhealthy for you. And so spirit's really asking you to take this moment of pause in this sort of moment of darkness to refill your own cup because there's a huge blessing in all of this for you. Now, King of Pentacles, this is a shifting your focus from the 3D. So I do feel like that you might be feeling like in the 3D, nothing is moving in your favor. Um, that things are very difficult. Um, and again, this sort of dark night of the soul, this anxiety, this depression that I'm seeing in this reading, this lack of stability is really spirit getting you to see with that third eye rather than, you know, when I just keep getting this, somebody's 
eyes being blindfolded, maybe from this eight of swords or their, you know, hands covering somebody's eyes, but that's allowing you to get a higher perspective and allow your other senses to really kick in. The, the king of pentacles is also telling me Aries that you may be doing something that does sort of put your stability into question, but it's all about answering your soul's calling. And sometimes, and they're showing me the five of pentacles right now that we, you know, in order to take the high road or in order to take the road that is, you know, we take the low, the, I keep getting all these sort of these sayings about the high road or the road less traveled, but sometimes we have to take the road less traveled or the road that, um, that's harder for us, but because it's the right road. Okay. And that's what I feel like what's going on here. There are beautiful rewards here for you, Aries though, but there is a difficult period, but it's definitely coming to an end. The Six of Cups is telling me here again that you may be, um, you know, you may be focused more on what you've lost or who you're leaving behind, but Spirit wants you to focus on achieving this loving balance and staying in your loving presence. Um, there's an energy of needing to release yourself from nostalgia, looking at a particular person or situation or job through rose-colored glasses. Oftentimes when it is time for us to move onward and upward, we have this moment of, am I really making the decision and I'm going to miss X, Y, and Z so much? You know, um, so for example, if somebody here is striving for financial independence and you're moving out of the family home, or if you're moving away from a relationship that's run its course, when it's time to actually move onward and to take action, we can start to think, no, 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 I don't want this because I was happy and I was comfortable, but that's ego energy. And we see that here with the devil, that's ego energy. That's keeping you in a place of, you know, where you're comfortable, but it's not for your greatest good. And we see you Aries with this two of wands looking back, but the two of wands is about planning. It's about strategy. And it's telling me that you're absolutely ready for a new partnership or you're ready for this next step. You're ready to move through this portal. And I love this dragon here as well. Like you're being guided and being ushered. You have what it takes, um, but it's also going to be up to you. And where is your focus? Okay. And the six of cups in reverse is showing me that. Where is your focus? Be grateful and happy for what you've learned and how you've grown and everybody who's been on your path along the way. But now it's time to set your sights ahead, Aries. We see the nine of pentacles. This is spirit's reassurance, especially with this tiger energy that you have what it takes to find your inner courage, to make the moves and take the action that you need to in order to be successful. For some of you, you're starting your own business. Okay. And it's sort of a lonely road. It's a little bit, um, you know, it's, and there's a little lack of stability, right? Because you don't have that sort of big company to rely on, or you don't have that contract, um, to rely on. But spirit saying you can rely on yourself. You can rely on your resources. You can rely on your judgment. You can rely on your previous experiences and what you've been through, sourcing your wisdom from ancestral knowledge, your DNA, your life experience. Because what we see with this judgment card, Aries, is a beautiful, beautiful up leveling. This is a karmic review. You are absolutely ready to cross this this threshold, and your life is going to look completely different. Now, for some of you, it's making Making a difficult decision to move away from a soulmate okay or to release yourself from a karmic contract something that you may have been attached to for quite some time even somebody that you might love but anything that's holding you back Aries really does need to be dealt with and, and you are moving forward okay and so I do get this energy there's like kind of this darkness this sadness this sorrow the mental body being quite confused but with the judgment card I'm getting that you know it's time and that you are ready and I keep seeing that two of wands like looking back at the past um, but remember, you know, many of you guys on this journey of ascension, it can be kind of a lonely journey. Um, but remember that everything does tend to come full circle. So when we cut cords with someone, it doesn't mean that we necessarily have to cut off complete contact with them, but we really cut off the negative energy or anything that was taking away from you. Now, for some of you guys, this isn't about leaving a partnership. It's a pause or it's the difficulties that you've been experiencing coming to an end, but it's really about going within and being 
you know, the nine of pentacles is about being alone, but not lonely. So you may have been in a situation that was making you feel very alone, but you had to go within and see why that was right. So we see the king of earth. Look at that. I love this because where there's this instability, where there was an over focus on the 3d, you tapping into your other senses and in particular into the spiritual realms and into that divine cosmic intelligence, you are bringing your own stability. You're rectifying the situation. It's coming back. And for many of you guys, if this is about you starting your own business, it has been very difficult and you may have thought about giving up at times. Look at all these cards falling out. But look who wanted to come out and join the King of Earth. Um, all of these difficulties that you've been through, my gosh, Aries, are paying off in a huge way. And we get the Queen of Earth. Some of you guys, there's somebody that wants to invest in you equally. Okay, so it could be a business partner. It could be a family member. But people are really liking what they're seeing. They're seeing your growth and how far you've come. All right, this is a major up-leveling here. For many of you, this is about love and relationships. This is your soulmate. This is a power couple, the King and the Queen of Earth. They don't get better than that. They build a home. They build a family. They build a business. Whatever, any of that's going to mean different things for all of us so whatever that looks like for you Aries you have met your match or you are calling them in that is this judgment card now for some of you it could be a reconciliation and again there was a necessary pause that was needed between you guys you needed to experience this instability to see past the 3d to see past the matrix to see that thread that connects all things and call in your soulmate for some of you, this karmic review, this is what you have generated. This is what you deserve, but it required you leaving behind old attachments, Aries. So whether this is love or business, you have fabulous energy coming towards you. And this is what you deserve. This is absolutely what this Venusian energy, this healing, it's like stepping you, you're using your old wounding to propel you to be better. And not only just to be better, Aries, but to be great. For some of you, this is achieving that internal balance. And you guys, I mean, this is like millionaire status type energy here I'm getting. And the reason I'm saying that, you know, and that can mean different things. I mean, a million is a million, right? But this is the energy of you feeling on top of the world, okay? Ah, so we get the nine of air. So there's that nine of swords that wanted to come out. So this dark night of the soul has been... Oh, and we get the six of water. So look at that. We get double confirmation of the six of cups. Two sixes, that's Venusian energy. That's balance. Some of you guys, this is this is love and partnership all com coming barreling towards you in one beautiful package. But it's what you've generated. It's what you are calling in. For some of you, again, it was a pause in a relationship. There's a rekindling or a recommitment here taking place. But it took this dark night of the soul, Aries, for you to gain perspective because there was something here that wasn't working, something that needed to be healed and cleared and released in order to bring this to fruition. Overall energy, the eight of earth, your dedication. This is something This I'm getting this energy of the tree of life here with this violin. I'm getting that your practice and your dedication is really, you are mastering this energy. This is spiritual mastery. You're learning a very tough lesson and you're conquering it, you're mastering it. And that's what's calling in this beautiful king and queen of earth energy. For some of you, you're making a current situation stronger. For many of you, it's business. And for a lot of you, Aries, this is about you finally being in union with your person. Serious power couple status, eight of water, but it took you walking away. And what I'm seeing here, double eights, Aries, this is an energy of ascension, manifestation. I mean, you guys are powerful, powerful beings. And you're recognizing it, but it took this nine of swords, it took this dark night of the soul to for you to step into that power. And man, this is awesome. This is beautiful energy for you. So, and there's a lot of love and compassion and tenderness. And I feel like it's what I was telling you, you know, about this Venusian energy working, you know, coming into alignment with this full moon in Libra and Chiron and Aries. It's about doing things your way. Okay. It's about healing. Mm.
All right, so we get go the distance, 47 breaking down to an 11. So for some of you, this may even be your twin flame journey or a soulmate energy, but this is a relationship, a business, a partnership that is not going anywhere. And I'm seeing that here with that eight of, eight of earth. It's built on a very strong foundation. And we get deep knowing, 43 breaks down to a seven. Sevens are about our spiritual journey. And this is absolutely what this whole reading is about. This is about you also finding peace after a very sort of difficult time. Finding love and tenderness, but also your strength. Um, either in a partnership, but first and foremost within. Trusting your intuition. Sourcing, sourcing your wisdom from not only those who have come before, but really tapping into source energy, but your inner wisdom and your intuition to make this happen. All right, I love this for you, Aries. I love this. It's magical. It really, truly is. It's almost like you're doing the unthinkable. You're doing um, what I think. I think many of you guys have, have majorly turned your life around um, after a major setback. Whether that was, you know, a rough past. Whether it was, you know, maybe there was, you know, addiction or just, you know, sort of a darker past. It's like you guys are moving mountains. That's what I'm getting. You're moving mountains. Okay, we get separation. So I see that, you know, that came through. Some of you guys, you are leaving a partnership behind or a person where there was once a lot of love, but there was a heavy attachment that was holding you back. And we see that with the two of cups. For some of you, there is rekindling. I mean, the six of cups is about you know, is about seeing things for what they truly are, not being overly nostalgic, but it's also rejuvenation and reconciliation. So for some of you, it is, but you guys are going to know that. All right. And we get retreat. Yeah. So this is, you know, I'm getting this energy of the king and the queen of pentacles, whether you guys are reconciling or coming into each other's energetic spheres. Yep. And we get confirmation there um, that you guys basically are going to be you're creating something here that's going to go the distance. Some of you guys, you're creating a business together. But it's the time that you spend on your own, sort of encapsulated in your relationship bubble, in each other's energy. That's really that that you're working through any sort of differences. You're also setting up like strategy. And this eight of earth, like it's about like how you're going to grind it out. How is it going to be successful? But it's also based on this deep knowing and understanding of what needs to be done and how you guys are going to do it. I love this. I, it's just like it's it's a beautiful it's like a it's like a business meeting between lovers but it's not taking the romance out of it you know it's just that you guys are you guys share the same vision um the same vision for success and you're building something very strong here um and for some of you it's achieving that internal balance Again, the Nine of Pentacles is you creating your heaven on earth, you creating your paradise, and something that is absolutely unshakable, okay? And we get the Amber Star, let go. I surrender and I allow myself to grieve. So we see that energy, grieving this past life, grieving this relationship or what it is that you have to let go of. But look at that. We do see this tree. There's something here about a tree, Aries, that's very important for you guys. Um, but it could just be this, this energy of really tapping into what I'm seeing is like Mother Earth Gaia, that ambery energy, you being able to channel that for your own growth and grieving this loss, even if it's the way that things used to be, um, or if it's a previous relationship. Um, and even if you're not leaving the person that you're with, you know, the way things used to be, you're letting go of it. You're letting go of that because there's something more beautiful to be built. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I hope you found clarity and guidance in this message. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.